Hello, my name is T, and today I'm designing another warrior cat clan, this time Leaf Clan. In my last video, I made, well, a few videos ago, I made Jungle Clan, and Leaf Clan exists in the same world as them. They're rival clans. I used the Perchance Generator, which I'll link down below. Leaf Clan is a much bigger clan than their rivals, and they don't face the same problems. That's about it for the introduction, I think. Let's get into the cats of Leaf Clan now. Rainstar is a short-haired, blue and cream, picked calico tabby she-cat with green eyes. Rainstar's design is one from this clan I ended up liking a lot, both making it and the end product. Something about Leaf Clan I will mention is that not all of the descriptions I followed word for word, or was entirely sure what they meant. I'm not that familiar with cat patterns, and sometimes the design seemed like a lot, so I simplified them. Rainstar is determined and stubborn. Once she sets her sights on something, she won't give up until it's hers. She often focuses on one thing so intently that she blocks out everything else. She's excellent at keeping her cool under pressure and during tough decisions, to the point where she seems cold and harsh to outsiders. Now that their rival clan is shrinking, Rainstar is using this opportunity to take more and more hunting grounds from them. Her main goal is to make sure that her clan is well-fed and thriving, and if that involves hurting others to get there, then so be it. She isn't necessarily cruel, but she thinks in a very black and white way. She weighs the benefits and drawbacks, and makes very clear decisions based on them. She rarely ever reconsiders or changes her mind once it's made up. Hollyberry. Hollyberry is a short-haired, red classic pseudo-tabby tom with amber eyes. His pose I think I struggled with the most out of all of them. I redrew him quite a lot and tried to figure out how I was going to make the perspective work. I think one of the main problems I had was that I actually wasn't sure what perspective I was going for to begin with. Even though he's a short-haired cat, something I did in this clan is add some longer tufts of fur to joints like elbows and ankles, or at the tips of tail and tops of ears. I think it helps to give the cats something special about their design, and I also used it to show who's related, loosely. Hollyberry's brother also has the tufts. Hollyberry is an unsure and guarded cat, putting on a facade of bravery and strength to hide that he feels like he doesn't know what he's doing. He struggles a lot with his confidence, but rather than showing that on the surface, he buries it deep and tries to hide it. He's quick to get riled up if his judgment is questioned. He snaps at cats when they are often just trying to help him, because he feels like everyone is starting to see how unsure he really is. He goes overboard trying to take back that control and respect. Despite his short temper, he confides in the medicine cat Kama Whisker about his worries, and she's helped him through a lot. She makes him want to be a better version of himself, and helps him to overcome his fear and see that he doesn't have to feel so alone. They're surprisingly good friends, even though their personalities aren't alike at all. The medicine cat of Leaf Clan is Kama Whisker, and she is described as a hairless, black and red, classic tortoiseshell tabby she cat with green eyes. Kama Whisker is a gentle soul, soft spoken and friendly. She often puts the needs of others before her own, to the point where she overworks herself into exhaustion. She's a tiny, quiet she cat, often inadvertently sneaking up on her clanmates and spooking them, even without meaning to. Really, it's just that she feels bad interrupting them, so she lingers in the corner of their sight until they notice her. She has a quick wit and a sense of humor, so she's learned to just laugh it off when her clanmates jump because they didn't see her until she was right beside them. Kama Whisker knew she wanted to be a medicine cat since she was a kit, and has always had a strong connection to Star Clan and her warrior ancestors. It's always come naturally to her, learning different herb combinations and tending to her fellow clanmates' wounds and sicknesses. She doesn't care much for rivalries between the different clans, so she is friends with Jungle Clan's medicine cat, Whitestone. Shadowbriar is a black tom with short fur and gold eyes. Shadowbriar is a ferocious warrior, known for throwing himself into battle no matter the odds. He's pretty scarred up because of this. He ranks his pride and reputation highly, and rarely shows fear in the face of danger. He's bad at understanding and expressing emotions in general, often having trouble in looking to those around him for cues on how to act. He loves his clan and family, but the way he shows it can come across wrong because he's not good with words. He tends to push cats around him out of their comfort zones because he sees it as helping them become stronger and face their fears. Unfortunately, they don't always see it this way. Some warriors of the clan see him as unnecessarily mean and pushy, but he really does mean well. He can come across as gruff and unfriendly, and often finds himself at a loss when it comes to what to say. As a skilled warrior, he's learned that this is the only reliable method of showing his care for his clanmates. He would throw himself into any danger to protect them, but could hardly bring himself to say anything along those lines. Kootnose is a short-haired black tom with yellow eyes. He is the younger brother of Shadowbriar and Sootstone. He is naturally friendly and shy. Kootnose far prefers hunting to battle, and doesn't really like to fight. 
It makes him feel nervous and at times even sick, so while he will participate in battles for the good of his clan, he prefers not to. Not many cats in the clan know this, other than his brother Sootstone. He is hesitant about showing weakness and fear around other cats because of how much teasing he used to get from Shadowbriar as a kitten apprentice. Despite this, he still looks up to the fierce Tom a lot and knows he means well. He has a lot of faith in other cats, to the point where it can be a fault. He automatically assumes the good in others and trusts in them almost blindly. Waxnose is a red mackerel pseudo-tabby Tom with short fur and gold eyes. He is quiet and endlessly patient and understanding. His mate is Starling Blaze, and he is father to Skipperpaw, Honeykit, and Hivekit. He's an excellent father and cares for all his kits. He contrasts Starling Blaze in a lot of ways, providing a calming and gentle presence in contrast to her fiery nature. He would do anything to protect his family and clan, but prefers to avoid fighting. He is also littermates with Hollyberry, though the two of them have never been close. It's not that he doesn't get along with his brother, but they have different friends, interests, and personalities. He has a hard time understanding his brother's short temper. Waxnose is hesitant about following Rainstar and claiming more and more territory, mostly because he worries about his son Skipperpaw being injured in battle. He worries a lot about the cats around him, and tries to help them in any way he can. Sootstone is a short-haired black tom with amber eyes. He is a gentle and sleepy cat, far preferring to nap in the sun than get involved with any battle or any inter-clan drama. He's a notoriously calming presence, because he tends to think through things slowly and never overreacts. He's considered a senior warrior, despite his lack of interest in most clan matters. He spends most of his time when he isn't required to be patrolling or hunting, napping and talking in the main camp. He's relatively well-liked in the clan, although some of his clanmates consider him lazy. He has darker black splotches around his eyes and on the tip of his tail, earning his name. His markings are reminiscent of charred rocks found in the burned section of forest on the edge of Leap Clan's territory. He earned his warrior name after a battle there. Spidernose is a mostly white, black and red spotted calico tabby she-cat with short fur and amber eyes. I didn't make her a tabby because there's already a lot going on with her being spotted in calico. She's a very social and friendly cat, and can often be found sharing tongues with the other warriors in the main camp or bragging about her latest hunting adventure. She's a great storyteller because of how much she exaggerates what happened. That is, if you want entertainment. If a cat wants something unexaggerated and accurate, they'd best go to someone else for the latest news. She doesn't mean to stretch the truth, but she loves the reaction she gets from other cats when she adds a little more drama to whatever her latest story is. Her fur shape is somewhat reminiscent of a lynx, and she's a relatively big cat. Rather than using this to push other cats around, though, usually she just ends up getting caught in the jungle's undergrowth or misjudging the size of areas and running into things. She's a little bit clueless and naive, still mentally more of an apprentice than a warrior. She was given her warrior name late because of how immature she can be at times. Gorsefoot is a red-ticked pseudo-tabby tom with short fur and yellow eyes. He's very wiry and strong, and one of the most skilled hunters in the clan. Gorsefoot is fairly antisocial, preferring to keep to himself rather than talk with his clanmates. He often leaves on long hunting or border patrols, and it's not uncommon for him to be gone for entire days on end. He doesn't like Rainstar, and finds himself annoyed and angry more often than not. Currently, he's upset with her laser focus on taking more of Jungle Clan's territory. He has trouble trusting other cats, which includes his own clanmates. He is Jungle Clan leader Yellowstar's half-brother, and pities the shrinking clan. He feels they should not be taking advantage of Jungle Clan's struggles, something his clanmates brush off as misplaced loyalty. He isn't very close to his clan, and struggles to feel like he belongs anywhere. Cranestone is a blue classic tom with short fur and green eyes. Cranestone is a senior warrior who refuses to retire to the Elder's Den. He's a gruff and prideful cat, and claims that he's still a better warrior than most of these young'uns who think they know everything. He's seen a lot in the clans, and has a kind of quiet wisdom about him. His scars are from various battles he's been in, too many and too far back to name. He has a bite scar on his shoulder, claw marks across his hindquarters, and his shoulder on the far side freezes up at times from an old impact injury. Ravenpaw is a long-haired black she-cat with gold eyes. She turned out the most cartoonish and exaggerated of all the cats I drew this time, I think, but it kind of fits her personality. Ravenpaw is an overly creative troublemaker. 
She is constantly thinking up ways for her and her brother Blackpaw to cause mischief within the clan. It's not necessarily that she means to get into trouble, just that her plans aren't very well thought out. She's very impulsive and doesn't really think about the consequences before she's two paws deep into whatever her latest idea is. Her mentor is the gruff and battle-scarred Shadowbriar, and she's one of the only cats that could run circles around him. He often finds himself baffled by this overly intense apprentice's ideas. Blackpaw is a short-haired, black classic tabby tom with amber eyes. Blackpaw is a goofy and easily persuaded cat. He goes along with whatever his sister's latest idea is, no matter how ridiculous it seems. Blackpaw rarely ever says no, no matter what's being asked of him. It's something his mentor is trying to get him to work on. He's often in trouble alongside Ravenpaw, but he doesn't really mind. He's very easygoing by nature. Blackpaw has never been naturally talented at much of anything like hunting or fighting, but he makes up for it with his even temper and calm nature. He's a little bit clumsy and slow, but in a way his clanmates find more endearing than irritating. It takes him longer than the other apprentices to learn things and catch on, but he laughs it off rather than getting frustrated. His mentor is the deputy, Hollyberry. Though Hollyberry is technically teaching him, he could learn a thing or two about how to let things go from Blackpaw. Silverpaw is a blue she-cat with long fur and hazel eyes. She probably has the most simple design in the whole clan. She's just a solid blue-gray color and she has a scar across her face. She is aloof, always seeming mildly amused at whatever is going on around her, but rarely participating. Her fur is long and silky soft. She earned the scar across her muzzle when she was first made an apprentice, barely a few days into training. It was during a battle between Leaf Clan and Jungle Clan. She's a vicious warrior, and despite her aloof nature, she won't hesitate to get her paws dirty in battle. She has a bit of a sadistic streak, something that's looked over by her clanmates because of how skilled in battle it makes her. She's not too close to most of her fellow apprentices, but she does have a soft spot for Skipper Paw. She finds it funny the lengths he'll go to to impress other cats. Skipper Paw is a short-haired, red classic pseudo-tabby tom with yellow eyes. His pose was my favorite to draw out of everyone in this clan. When I started to color him, he turned out more brown, so I did another set of more orange colors over the top and set them to a lower opacity. He's still more reddish brown than a red tabby, but at least it fits with who his parents are. He's the son of Waxnose and Starling Blaze, and has his father's asymmetrical face stripe. He's playful and determined, and gets himself into trouble a lot. He's a very hyperactive apprentice, never stopping for a moment from the second he wakes up to the second he goes back to sleep. He lives off of attention, and has ended up in the medicine den from hurting himself trying to impress other cats several times already. In particular, he often falls over himself trying to impress or amuse his fellow apprentice, Silverpaw. Rowan Hart is a short-haired, black and red, mackerel, tortoiseshell tabby she-cat with gold eyes. I drew her eyes closed in this, but they're gold underneath there. She is a gentle and friendly soul, and an excellent mentor and teacher. She's very popular among kits because of the fact that she'll tell them stories and show them hunting and battle techniques. She's great at coming up with games that teach them warrior skills. She is missing most of the teeth on one side of her face, the few that remain poking out from where her muzzle is scarred. She was injured in a mudslide while out hunting alone, and managed to claw her way out and make it back to camp. She spent several moons in the medicine den while recovering from her injury, and to keep herself occupied she watched and played with the clan's kits. When she was healed, she refused to let this injury stop or discourage her from being a warrior, despite having to relearn things as basic as hunting and eating. Starling Blaze is a short-haired black she-cat with yellow eyes. She is a fiery cat, strong-headed and never letting others push her around, despite the fact that she's the runt of her litter and very small. She's a skilled warrior and hunter, not letting anything or anyone get in her way. She's had a tough life from day one, having to prove herself each step of the way. Her family, small and torn apart as it was, wasn't very fond of her and saw her more as another mouth to feed. Her litter mates didn't make it to becoming apprentices due to a bout of green cough. The fact that she did was always salt in the wound. Her mate is Waxnose, and she's had three kits with him so far, including Skipperpaw, Honeykit, and Hivekit. She wants to make sure that her kits have the upbringing she never had, by supporting them and making sure they know how to defend themselves properly. Hornetstone is the oldest cat in Leaf Clan, and one of the few cats that Rainstar respects enough to listen to. His advice is often short and to the point, and he thinks about things from the perspective that Leaf Clan's safety and prosperity is the only thing that matters. He used to be deputy to the former leader before retiring to the Elder's Den. He spends most of his time sleeping or sunbathing, and rarely ventures outside of the camp. 
Ravenpaw is around him so much because of being punished that he feels more like a babysitter than an elder. The troublesome apprentice annoys him, but he can admire her courage and refusal to back down from anything. Still, he has half a mind to tell Rainstar to stop sending her so he can get some peace and quiet for once. Hivekit is a short-haired red mackerel pseudo-tabby tom with yellow eyes. Hivekit is a quiet and small kit, but with his mother's encouragement, he won't let that stop him. He's fiery and playful by nature, and can often be found tumbling around with moss balls or chasing after bugs. He wants to be the best hunter Leaf Clan has ever seen, and he's not wasting a second of time spent practicing. When not chasing bugs off on his own, he often trails behind his sister Honeykit while she's bugging the apprentices. Honeykit is a black she-kit with short fur and honey gold eyes. She takes after her mother's starling blaze in her courage and determination. She's excited to become an apprentice and then a warrior of Leaf Clan, often bugging the current apprentices until they show her what they've learned in their latest training session. Once her energy runs out though, she completely crashes. She can sleep almost anywhere, regardless of what's going on around her. She can often be found napping in surprising places around camp, including dens she's not supposed to be in and under the Weeder's Rock. Honeykit and Hivekit weren't actually a part of the generator. The perchance generator does not design kits, so I just sort of made them up on my own. I thought that it would be kind of cute to give um, names that sort of were reminiscent of their dad's name, Waxnose, so I picked Honey and Hive. Leaf Clan was so much fun to design. I love coming up with personalities and little stories and relationships between the cats. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have suggestions for other challenges you'd like to see me do in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.